The news that came in earlier today having to do with the announcement that the president has decided to sack the minister of state in charge of finance, um, uh, the finance ministry, and uh, it's on the back of allegations by Tiger IPI in a video which is yet to be premiered or an investigative piece which is yet to be premiered where it is alleged that um, Mr. Edubuahi used the influence he has and the connection to the vice president to say that he could get them to invest in Ghana if they can make some financial inducements. That is, if they can, for instance, give the vice president some $200,000. Um, in, in the alleged, or the allegation leveled against him, he goes on to even say that the vice president has about six or seven brothers who would all need, you know, some assistance so he can facilitate that and can even... Uh, connect them to meet the president himself using his influence. So what exactly is all of this and how come this seems to be a phenomenon happening in and around the office of the president? Let's hold that thought and go to parliament now. I mean, the member of parliament uh, for Asante Achim North, Andy Apiakubi, is uh, the NPP NP, who was the first spokesperson for the group of NPP NPs who asked for the finance minister to be sacked, and they also mentioned Charles Edubuahin in their press statement or when they addressed the media asking for his sacking. Well, he has been sacked, but on different grounds. What are his thoughts? Honorable Apia Kubi, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, brother. What do you make of this sacking of uh, Charles Edubuahin? You are asking for him to be booted out. Now it has happened, although not on the terms you wanted. Well, uh, we are happy that uh, at least the president has listened to the call. And indeed, this is the first call that uh, he has given to. Uh, we expect that the second one also will follow soon. Uh, it is our uh, expectation that we have to save our government. We have to save our party. We have to save our country. So uh, the motivating uh, factor is saving our government, saving our party. And therefore, we expect the president to do the needful or for those themselves to also do the needful. And what I can say is that if you stay for too long, uh, you are likely to face the same consequences. So it's a warning to uh, those, uh, the, the other person, to also get ready and pack and go. Uh, otherwise, if he waits for too long, uh, the same or similar things might befall him. Right. And, and maybe will you just take us back a bit. What exactly was it about Charles Edubuahin that you wanted him sacked? Because we know that apart from Ken Oferiata, the finance minister, he had two other deputies. Um, and they, one of them, in fact, both of them are in parliament with you. So why is it that you're not asking for those ones, but you are specific on Charles Edubuahin? What about him did you want him sacked? You see, <laughs> it is not important to throw out uh, all the evidence before the action. Uh, we have sent the petition to the president, and we have also sounded a warning to themselves. And this that happened today uh, is adequate warning to the second person. If we had any such evidence, we would have also attacked them. But for now, what we have is what we have prayed for. Uh, what we can prove is what we have prayed for. And therefore, we advise all parties to abide by the prayer. Um, and don't forget that I continue to emphasize that uh, it is the, our party and government that we want to see. That is why we have been back on this action. So uh, saving the party is very paramount. Saving the government is very paramount to us. So we are very careful in the approach. All right, my final question is still on the same subject. He's, out, he's been referred to the special prosecutor. Um, what are your expectations? You also said that the other gentleman must go. Who are you referring to? Is this still uh, Kendo Ferriata? Yes, exactly. And in fact, we are very empathic when we came out with the press statement and we mentioned his name. And this advice and warning goes to him again. So uh, let's see what happens within the week. And then let's see what uh, will happen uh, next week. All right, um, Mr. Andy Apiakubi, Member of Parliament for Santiago Chim North, thank you for your time this afternoon.